Christos Rajdajit Shah, Joao Noel, Merry Christmas. Vid imene Ukrajinskoj Kretovi Spilki, Bajajemo Vši Romadi, Všim našim členam i Všim pračnikam Vesele Šiat i Šeslivo Novoho Roku. Christos Rajdajit Shah. Боже вам любові і тепла, добра в сім'ї і затишку в оселі, щоб щастя світла музика текла, в різвяні свята щедрі і веселі. Христос рождається! Славім Його! Різдво в дорозі, Новий рік і Маланка. Чекаємо вас в нашій клініці красоти і здоров'я, щоб ви чарівно виглядали і почувалися щасливими і здоровими ці святкові дні. Щедрі, щедрі бачка, прилетіла ластя бачка, стало собі щебетати, господаря кликати. Ще при кінці літа письменниця Марша Скрипух видала важливу книжку про те, як нацисти заганяли українських жінок і дівчат на примусову працю у військових фабриках, де виробляли бомби. Автор Марша Скрипух розкаже, як складно було писати книжку на таку важку тему. This is the official launch of Making Bombs for Hitler, which is my brand new book. This is actually my 15th book. And uh, it's a companion novel to Stolen Child. And what this is about is a Ukrainian girl who's captured by the Nazis and she's taken as a slave laborer. And so it's about the Osterbiters. And there really hasn't ever been a novel for children written on the Osterbiters before. So I'm really pleased that this has come out. It was a really hard book to write, I have to tell you, because it took me to some pretty dark places doing the research. It was very depressing. but. Um, I wrote it as a children's book because like a children's book is always uplifting and also when you write it as a children's book you don't use uh, what the sorrows of other people for titillation. Like it, I, I want the reader to feel that they're stepping into the shoes of Lita and living the life that she did so that they can understand better rather than just reading for sheer entertainment. Organizacija Ukrajino Kanady zorganizovala predstavljanje novoji knjižke pismenici Marši Skrepuh na prozbu Svitovoji Federaciji Ukrajinskih žinočih organizacij. I slovo pro važljivost literature u veznačenju istoriji koždoho narodu vyholosila tudišnja golova svužo Marika Škambara. Literature is so important to a people, to a country, to a nation. It is a form where we can express our thoughts, our ideas and our history. Had it not been for the diary of Anne Frank, I wonder how many children would know of the Holocaust. If it had not been for Marsha Skripu, how many of our children would have known about the silver threads of the Ukrainians in Canada? How many of them would have known about the famine? But I think most important, how many of them would have known what happened to so many of our women, Ukra Ukrainian women, who were taken by the Germans during the war and as servants of the Third Reich forced to do the work that they have done. Marsha brought this out into the forefront. Marsha has introduced it. Many of us are scared to talk about it. Many of our parents are saying, that happened in the past, let's forget about it. No, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot forget about it. It is a history that must be shared, must be told, And I thank you, Marsha, for taking the opportunity to telling the world about the history of the Ukrainian woman. Pani Oksana Kurelyu i Sudborev opisala historický kontext podnětě Osterbajterů, jaký dorohovovali vid 3 do 5 milionů ukrajinských žinok, sered nech dejeky, jaký byly přesudní na čemu večeri. Сьогодні těžko zbahnuti osobistí obstavení těch nešťastných ukrajinských žinok i dívčat. The story broke my heart. But making bombs for Hitler scorched my soul. The story of Lida and Osterbeiter, her kidnapping, her suffering, and struggle to survive will resonate with me forever. As you said, many in this audience have been marked as Osterbeiters. And if they haven't, they have family members and friends who have been scarred by this period of Ukrainian history. But as Volodymyr Kish pointed out in his article in The New Pathway, many are reluctant to talk about their experiences and their survivor 
and their suffering. Now perhaps it's understandable. When these people arrived in Canada or the United States in the early 50s, there was no understanding of the phenomena of post-traumatic stress or counselors of any kind to help them understand what they had undergone. They just got on with life, tried to move forward, and forget. And she said, we can't. And so thank you so much for writing this book. But as an Osterbeiter, German for Eastern worker, this was a designation for slave workers gathered from Eastern Europe to do forced labor in Germany during World War II. The Osterbeiters were mostly from Eastern Ukraine. And some estimates put the number of Osterbeiters between three to five million. Most were very young, under the age of 16. And by November 1943, when the book begins, для автора це важлива книжка, бо вона говорить про долю жінки. So often when we have World War II stories, we hear the men's stories and we hear the soldiers' stories, but we don't hear about the women. And even when we do hear about the women, we never hear about the Ukrainian women. Автор зачитала уривки нового видання Making Bombs for Hitler. The room smelled of smoke and the light was so white that it made my eyes ache. I held Larissa's hand in a tight grip. I was her older sister after all and she was my responsibility. It would be easy to lose her in the sea of children and we had both lost so much already. Larissa looked up at me and I saw her lips move but I couldn't hear the words above the wails and screams. I bent down so that my ear was level with her lips. Don't leave me, she said. I wrapped my arms around her and gently rocked her back and forth. I whispered our favorite lullaby into her ear. A loud crack startled us both. The room was suddenly silent. A woman in white stepped in among us. She clapped her hands sharply once more. Children, she said in brisk German, you will each have a medical examination. Weeping children were shoved into a long snaking line that took up most of the room. I watched as one by one other children were taken behind a, bro a broad white curtain. When it was Larissa's turn, she, her eyes went round with fright. I did not want to let her go, but the nurse pulled our hands apart. Lita, stay with me. I stood at the edge of the curtain and watched as the woman made Larissa take off her <coughs> nightgown. My sister's face was red with shame. When the woman held a metal instrument to her face, Larissa screamed. I rushed up and tried to knock that thing out of the nurse's hand, but she called for help and someone held me back. When they finished with Larissa, they told her to stand at the other end of the room. When it was my turn, I barely noticed what they were doing. I kept my eyes fixed on Larissa. Для авторки було дуже тяжко вишукувати історичні дані про ті часи. To get Osterbeiters, former Osterbeiters to, to talk is, is difficult because most of them won't come forward. And it wasn't really until the fall of the Soviet Union that you really got any um, people um, you know, in Ukraine who would talk about it. And then people who were in Canada, I mean, they would say that they were an Osterbeiter, but they wouldn't really tell you anything about it. So it's taken about a decade for me to accumulate first-person accounts, people who I could interview about it, uh, you know, day-to-day -day life, and um, so I did that. There were also, um, I did a lot of um, just reading on uh, World War II and uh, bomb making, you know, the whole bomb making activity um, that the Nazis were doing. So it was a lot of research. Багато в світі говориться про страждання євреїв під час Другої світової війни. Але мало про жертви українців. They, they chose many people to enslave, but they considered uh, Ukrainians to be subhuman, and especially Ukrainians who were from uh, Eastern Ukraine were subhuman. Western Ukrainians were treated a little bit better, but if you were from Eastern Ukraine, uh, you're considered Russian, first of all, not Ukrainian, and they just considered them all to be um, exterminatable, but instead of putting them in death camps like what they did with the Jews, they wanted to work them to death. And so they came up with um, a caloric intake. It was the minimum calories that a person can eat and still be worked. Um, and so they, you know, they put it on a graph basically to see how little they could feed these people and how much work that they could get out of them before they died. 
And so it was a really gruesome way to go. And many, many died. And um, of the millions of people who were taken as Osterbiters, some of them did survive World War II, but then right after World War II, they were repatriated to the Soviet Union where they were then put in concentration camps in the Soviet Union, or as they called them, re-education camps, right? Some of them were killed outright um, as soon as they were repatriated to the Soviet Union. So it's this huge untold story because if you're dead, you can't tell your story. And so for me it was really important to be able to tell the story of Osterbiters because many of them cannot tell their stories themselves. Knishke Marshi Skrapuch Bombs for Hitler i Supravidno Knishku Stolen Child Mojna Kupitiv Knehadnyak Pofsi Kanadi Abo Zamovitiv Interneti Chapters.ca i Amazon.ca Making Bombs for Hitler o Trimala Viznachnia CCBC Best Books for Kids in 2012. Se chudovi podaruna kladite i vnukiv, jaki u dostupni sposib and nisku jumovuju, roskazio anglomovnim ditiam pro istoriju i doliu našeho narodu. Освітня фундація імені Петра Яцека бажає всій українській громаді в Канаді веселих свят і щасливого Нового року. Христос рождається! Щедрівочка прилетіла, ластівочка, стало собі щебетати, господаря кликати. Ще при кінці літа письменниця Марша Скрапух видала важливу книжку про те, як нацисти заганяли... Христос рождається! Желаю Нуель! Мері Крисмас! Від імені Української Кротової Спілки бажаємо всій громаді, всім нашим членам і всім працівникам веселе щат і щасливого Нового року! Христос рождається! Дай Боже вам любові і тепла, добра в сім'ї і затишку у селі, щоб щастя світла музика текла, в різвяні свята щедрі і веселі. Христос рождається! Славім Його! Різдво в дорозі, Новий рік і Маланка. Чекаємо вас в нашій клініці красоти і здоров'я, щоб ви чарівно виглядали і почувалися щасливими і здоровими ці святкові дні. Чекаємо вас!